Hello everyone, uh, this is my uh, YouTube tutorial number 4. Uh, it is the stability of Earth's dam against the water pressure or uh, overall stability. This is my video tutorial title for today. The factor of safety against sliding is defined as ratio of forces resisting slided, sliding of the dam to resisting uh, 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 to the force tending to causing slides, sliding. Therefore, lateral safety against sliding here is defined as the ratio of forces of resisting sliding divided by, divided by uh, the force tending to or actuating sliding. This, uh, this ratio uh, are known as factor of safety against sliding. Okay, this is the weight of uh, this implemented dam. This is weight time by. This is upstream pressure due to headwater. This is uh, height of headwater dips. The resisting force taken as the shear resistance developed at the base of the dam, therefore. A resisting force is equals to W tan phi, where phi is angle of internal friction and W is the effective weight of the entire dam per unit length. For computing the effective uh, weight of the dam, the ferratic line is first located, must be. And the weight, uh, the weighted average of the unit taken is considered, uh, taken considering the swell above the ferratic line as. Uh, moist and the the ferratic line below the ferratic line is submerged or saturated this w is equal to cross sectional area of the dam times average unit weight therefore there are two unit weight is here according to here uh, saturated unit weight and uh, moist moisture unit weight of this way therefore average of this unit weight uh, should be taken and the cross sectional area of the dam must be taken. Therefore, ferratic line uh, helps to helps us to identify uh, ferratic uh, lines as a moist and submerged unit because this ferratic line uh, divides moist and saturated regions of uh, this embankment dam. The force tending to cause sliding of the dam is horizontal components of the water pressure acting on the upstream, that is. Headwater pressure is equal to gamma, gamma of water times headwater uh, elevation height square divided by 2, where uh, h is the maximum use of water. This factor of uh, safety uh, due to sliding is given by uh, is equal to this resisting, resisting due to sliding w tan phi divided by this uh, actuating sliding gamma of water. Uh, times h square divided by two. Factor of safety should not be zero, less than uh, two. It must not be less than two. Therefore, uh, w tan phi is uh, the force which uh, prevents sliding, whereas pH is the force actuating sliding. The other one, stability of earth dam against horizontal shear, stability of downstream portions of the earth dam. This, this is because shears uh, mostly occur on the downstream portions of earth dam. The uh, figure below shows the downstream slopes of the dam separated from the rest of the dam by a vertical plane passing through the top shoulder of the downstream slope. Therefore, uh, this is maximum, maximum shear session. This maximum shear uh, section is occur mostly uh, at a distance from this downstream tip of this uh, top width point that, that is from point A to 0 0.4 times of uh, this BD length. This is the maximum shear. Therefore, this section is the maximum shear section, which is at a distance of 0 0.4 times of BD. That means uh, downstream client face lengths, horizontal lengths. That's a horizontal force axis on the uh, vertical plane AB. This AB, this 
horizontal force axis on this. The vertical plane is AB uh, in the downstream direction due to Earth's pressure, actually, uh, usually computed by Rankine's theory. This Earth's pressure caused by the left portions of the dam, and uh, due to water pressure, the, the horizontal force is given by HD is equal to gamma S. So, actually, uh, that means weight of unit soil mass of the vertical section AB tan square into 45 degree minus 5 over 2 plus gamma of water times h1 square over 2 uh, h is the vertical distance from top of z dam to the base of z dam or dam height you can shortly speaking dam height phi is angle of internal pressure of soil in the dam and h1 is the vertical distance from the theoretical line to the base of the dam This is H1. This is H1. For AB, H1 is yeah. This line intersects here the ferratic line. This vertical line intersects this ferratic line, and uh, this intersection to point B is H1. Okay. The weight unit uh, weight gamma S of soil mass is given by gamma S. That means from the above total horizontal force equation, uh, gamma s is equal to gamma 1, that is the merged unit weight of soil below the ferratic line times h1, and uh, gamma 2, uh, which is the moist unit weight of soil above the ferratic line, into h minus h1 divided by total h. This is a uh, unit weight of the soil mass. The resisting force against sliding is developed due to internal friction and the equations of soil mass in the downstream portions of the dam. And this resisting force R is equal to WD tan phi plus C uh, BD, where WD is the total effective uh, weight of the downstream portions of the dam above the base. C is unit cohesion, and BD is the width of the base of downstream portion. For computing WD, the submerged unit weight of the soil is taken below the ferratic line. That is, yeah, when we compute WD, the submerged unit weight of soil is taken below the ferratic line, and uh, the moist unit, well, unit, the moist unit weight of above the ferratic line. The average factor of safety against the shear is therefore given by this FS equals to. Uh, this RD, that means resisting force against the sliding, divided by actuating uh, force, force of sliding, that means head water pressure, is equal to this RD, this RD, this RD, divided by HD. For this case, HD is this one. Therefore, factors of safety against sliding can be computed using this equation. Again, uh, again, stability of the dam against headwater pressure overall stability that is, it must be a factor of safety, may, must not, not be less than two. The same applies here, uh, the factor of safety should not be at least two, it should be greater than two. That is, factors of uh, safety against maximum shear, that is, downstream slope. The downstream slope should also be checked against the maximum shear which occurs at the points of the base at the horizontal distance of 0.4 times BD, like I said earlier before. According to uh, the theory of elasticity, the maximum shear time max is twice the average shear TA. Average shear TA. Thus, T max time max is equals to two times of T average. Which is equals to 2 over HD at water pressure divided by B. This is nice, maximum shear. Therefore, substituting uh, those HD values and uh, finality max can be created using uh, this equation. This equation. The factor of safety at the point of maximum shear stress is determined as. Uh, factor of safety against maximum shear is equal to shear strength at the points of maximum shear that means at a distance of 0.4 bd 
uh, that's shear string is divided by uh, maximum shear stress therefore the shear string is determined by co more columns slow uh, shear equation as s is equals to sigma tan phi plus c uh, or uh, this is where sigma is gamma of uh, s times h where sigma is the vertical stress, gamma S is the weighted, the weighted unit weight of soil mass in the sections of the dam along the vertical line at the point of maximum shear stress, and H is the vertical distance from the downstream slopes of the, the dam down to the points of, of uh, maximum shear stress. That is height of soil column, uh, this, uh, this factor of safety against maximum shear FS is equal to uh, gamma of Fs h tan phi plus c times the whole d that is you need to multiply this shear shear triangles here this with the whole uh, length of uh, downstream inclined face therefore this divided by maximum shear stress where maximum shear stress uh, can be this one this one that is therefore this bd uh, will multiply this this only and therefore uh, s divided by t max is factor of safety therefore this one divided by this one will give this equation therefore the factor of uh, safety against maximum shear uh, should be at least 1.5 for this case the same procedure should be repeated for uh, other horizontal sections above the base. Thank you very much. This is all for today. Uh, this is factor of against maximum uh, shear. Uh, factor of safety against sliding. Factor of safety against uh, head water. These are uh, stabilities which we need to consider. Uh, today's video tutorial is all about factor of safety against possible failures and uh, please don't forget to subscribe my video for today is uh, all about thank you very much have a good day